What is up guys? My name is Sam if you are new here and if you've been here on the journey you know that I've been sharing my whole MCAT studying experience. I've been doing a lot of study vlogs just showing you guys what I was doing leading up to my exam and before the week leading up to my exam I filmed a bunch of clips. Just a quick little video montage of my feelings every day leading up until the exam and my progress. So hopefully you enjoy it, hopefully it gives you some insight and definitely stay tuned because I will be getting my scores in about a month and I do plan on sharing a score reaction video. I also videoed my reaction leaving the exam so I will be posting that after this video. So if you're interested in seeing any of that definitely subscribe and follow along You've been here for a while hopefully this is a much needed update because i know i've been a little mia i was just focusing on studying and not really filming but i wanted to share this for sure so like i said i hope you enjoy and hopefully you stick around to see where the rest of this journey takes me this exam that i've been studying for which you know i've been taking you guys along with me and kind of showing you what it looks like for me is literally nine days away and i have been so anxious my last practice exam was 10 days ago, and I got a 509. Um, I was happy about it. My next practice exam is tomorrow. All right, it is the morning of my practice exam. It's actually so beautiful out. I hope this is what my morning walk looks like on the day of, but I love to move my body and walk and just like clear my head. I don't know, I feel like these little walks that I do is just like self-care for me. Just to update you guys, it is May 19th. It's Friday. I take my exam next Friday, so I take my exam in exactly a week. I took full length four on Wednesday, and I was really hoping for a 514. Like, I just would, would have felt good about that and the improvement I had made, but I got a 511. That was two points higher than my previous full length, where I got a 509. And basically, I did the exact same on Bio Biochem and Chem Phys. I went down a point in cars and then I went up three points in psych so I don't know it wasn't like it didn't it didn't really feel that good because it was like okay well that feels very like test specific like maybe the psych so section was a little easier and I don't know so it just made me worried I guess but basically what I'm doing now is trying my best to get my chem phys and, and bio biochem scores up because at this point those are my weakest sections guys it's officially MCAT week it's Monday the exam is Friday. I guess what I'll say is that the last three days have been super just not productive. It's like just not the, the energy I need. It hasn't been great. It hasn't been the energy that I need for the exam being this close. Today's agenda, chem phys, section bank, finish, bio biochem exam review, and then I'll be doing my last full length tomorrow and then i have wednesday and thursday to just do last minute stuff all right tell my vlog what you think i'll how you think i'll do on the mcat i'm rooting for uh let's say 515. <laughs> and meanwhile and behind you on this facetime call i have a 58 percent correct on my <laughs> section bank yeah so maybe, maybe a maybe a five eleven. No. <laughs> I think at this point in the journey, I'm getting to a point where I, I am a little bit burnt out and kind of just anxious, um, and I find myself not doing as much, I guess. But today I finished up the chem phys section of the section bank, um, and then I did. I just finished up some cars passages right now, so it doesn't really feel like I did a whole lot because I really didn't, but it's 9.45 now, and I actually am really tired, which is good, because I want to make sure my sleep is good for the next three days or next four days leading up to the exam. Yeah, I'm going to hop in the shower, and then I'm just going to do my same night routine that I would do for the real exam, um, because tomorrow I'm taking my last practice exam. So that's kind of what I'm doing. I'm going to do what I can in the next couple days, but I've prepared thus far, and I need to just go in and trust myself and it really is going to come down to just my exam day self and my mentality about the exam. You guys, I'm doing my last practice exam today. But this exam is said to be the most accurate one in terms of its representativeness. We'll see how it goes. Um, 
but yeah, I'm actually kind of excited to take it. I want to see where I'm at and I hope it goes well. So I will update you guys afterwards and I'll show you the score. But uh, just to keep you in the loop, the last exam that I took was full length four and I got a 511. So I really, really, really am hoping for something in the teens. All right, you guys, it's much later in the day. It's like 9 p.m. I took the practice exam full length five. That was my eighth practice exam, my eighth full length. And it was the sample exam new in 2022 for double AMC. I got a 510. So, uh, I don't know. It was my worst bio biochem score yet. My best chem phys score yet. I did the same on cars as last time and I did one point lower on psych -soch. I was happy about chem phys. I was a little disappointed in bio biochem, but I wasn't expecting better than last time. I just was expecting the, the same. So that's definitely my weakest subject right now. And yeah, I literally have just two days to figure it out. And I'm just gonna focus on doing some practice questions. I haven't finished, I haven't even started the bio section for the um, section bank questions and I finished chem phys, so I think that might have played a role in me improving on chem phys, but not really improving on bio biochem and actually doing worse. So I really just need to do some targeted bio biochem practice, but ugh, obviously I was hoping for higher. I hope I can just pull through on the real thing. So it's May 25th. Tomorrow I take the MCAT. I wanna be tired tonight, so I woke up early today. I'm getting some morning sun right now so that I can get my circadian rhythm activated a little bit. I always sleep better when I get morning sun in the day. So I'm just trying to do everything I can to make sure that I can sleep tonight. And I think that's gonna be super crucial to my success on the exam is getting a good night's rest tonight. Um, I'm not doing nothing today. I know a ton of people are like, don't do anything the day before the MCAT. Like there's a lot of proponents for literally doing nothing, but I'm just not that person. For me, taking a break and not looking at anything would just make me anxious and make me feel like, oh my gosh, like I could be doing something. I'd rather just look over my notes, go over my stuff, do practice questions, do some cars passages because I have all day. What am I gonna do? Just sit around and do nothing? Like that would make me feel worse and then I won't feel confident. Whereas I can go through passages, get some answers right, build my confidence and feel like my brain is on the same topic for tomorrow. That's where I'm at. I don't know how other people feel, but personally I will be reviewing and I will be doing practice questions today. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna finish up the bio section bank questions because I started those yesterday and I didn't finish them. If you guys were curious as far as my progress went in terms of all the practice questions that I had, and what I'll actually be getting through. I did not finish the U World questions. Um, I think I did about like half of all the U World questions. So I'm really just hoping the exam plays into my strengths because I definitely do have weaknesses. I don't feel confident on every single topic and I don't know if anybody does. My conclusion about this exam from taking all the practice exams and just studying for this long is that it is very much a reasoning exam. I know that sounds weird. Like you need to have the content down to some extent, actually to a big extent, but if you know enough in order to do really well on the exam, it's all about reasoning and logic and being able to comprehend a passage. I feel like I have mastered the exam. I just haven't finished all the content. Like I still have a lot of content gaps. I literally cannot believe that it's here. I basically put my life on pause. I stopped working. My boyfriend and I are doing long distance basically because of this. I just kind of changed a lot about what my life looked like prior to studying for the MCAT in order to study. And I don't regret it. I think it was a good decision, but I'm excited. I'm excited to be done with it. And then I have a trip to go see my sister in Seattle. And then I move back with my boyfriend in June. So we're coming to a close here on this this journey and I'm very excited about it. I'll keep you guys posted on how the rest of the day goes. It is 8.20 and I'm on my nightly walk. Oh, I can't believe it. I literally cannot believe it's here. I actually am surprisingly 
super calm. Last week I was super, super anxious. And today, like all day, I've just been very calm, like very zen, very, there's just like nothing I can do at this point, right? So what? there's nothing to stress about. Whereas like last week I was stressing about, okay, what should I do? Like, what should I do during this week? Cause it's coming up so quick. But now we're here, the exam's tomorrow. I hope it goes well, but I'm not really too, I'm relatively calm, which I'm happy about. I'm so happy that I'm not like feeling really anxious right now because that would probably affect my sleep. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go back once I get back home from this walk. I'm just gonna make my little nightly tea. I'm having some chamomile tea tonight to help me with my sleep. And um, I'll probably take a melatonin just to make sure that I get the sleep I need and that I don't like toss and turn for a long time. I'm like kind of excited. I mean, like I've been working so hard for this. Like I think that's how you have to frame it. You have to frame your anxiety, which like I'm not feeling super anxious right now, but I know tomorrow I probably will. But you just have to reframe it. It's like, it's excitement. Cause that's what it is. Like it really is. Um, and tomorrow I get to put myself to the test and see what I know. And like worst case scenario, things don't go well. I'm allowed to retake the exam. You know what I mean? I can always take another MCAT exam. So just take the pressure off and realize I've done what I can and I'm going to do what I can tomorrow. So I'm excited. I just got caught up doing practice questions, but it's 10, 11. I wanted to be in bed at 9 30. So I'm going to hop in the shower and then hopefully be in bed, ready for sleep at 10.30, fall asleep by 10.45, and tomorrow I'm going to wake up at 5.45. Today is the day. <laughs> well, I'm leaving the MCAT. I just took it in that building. Oxytocin, high on hoping that the way you love me can fix I hate myself.